Hey farm boy, keep dropping that plow, bailing that hay, feeding them cows from the roost to crow till another long day is gone. Country on. Hey big rig, keep clocking in miles, pulling that horn, making us smile, rolling that load down the road all night long. Country on. Hey cowboy, keep slinging that rope, eating that dirt. A leg rodeo, but just don't break no bones. Country on. Hey, barkeep, how about another round? Keep the neon lit in this crazy town. Just pour a little more. Country on. Country on. Yeah. Country on. Hey firemen, boys and girls in blue We could sure use a lot more like you You come running in anytime anything goes wrong Country on Hey soldier, wherever you might be Hats off to keeping us free All our thoughts and prayers till you get back home Country on Hey hometown Keep throwing that ball, raise them outside, hang a fish on the wall. They only stay a little so long, so love them up strong, country on. I say, hey, hey, USA, we ain't seen our better days. Hell no, hey y'all, country on. Takes all week. Fire from heaven falling down like a rain. 
Ain't nobody here walking out the street a farmer's wife. I have embellished the essay in places. I have cropped it in others. I hope the sense of it remains intact. And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn and milk cows, work all day in the fields, milk cows again, eat supper, and then go to town and stay past midnight at a meeting of the school board. So God made a farmer. I need somebody with arms strong enough to wrestle a calf and yet gentle enough to deliver his own grandchild. Somebody to call hogs, tame cantankerous machinery, come home hungry and have to wait lunch until his wife's done feeding visiting ladies and then tell the ladies to be sure and come back real soon and mean it. So God made a farmer. God said I need somebody willing to sit up all night with a newborn colt and watch it die and then dry his eyes and say, maybe next year. I need somebody who can shape an axe handle from a persimmon sprout and shoe a horse with a hunk of car tire, who can make harness out of hay wire feed sacks and shoe scraps, who planting time and harvest season will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon, and then paint in from tractor back, put in another 72 hours. So God made a farmer. God had to have somebody willing to ride the ruts at double speed to get the hay in ahead of the rain clouds and yet stop in midfield and race to help when he sees the first smoke from a neighbor's place. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody strong enough to clear trees and heave bales and yet gentle enough to yean lambs and wean pigs and tend the pink combed pullets who will stop his mower for an hour to splint the broken leg of a meadowlark. It had to be somebody who'd plow deep and straight and not cut corners, somebody to seed, weed, and feed, and breed, and rake, and disc, and plow, and plant, and tie the fleece, and strain the milk, and replenish the self-feeder, and finish a hard week's work with a five-mile drive to church. Somebody who'd bail a family together with the soft, strong bonds of sharing. Somebody who would laugh, and then sigh, and then reply with smiling eyes. When his son says that he wants to spend his life doing what dad does. So God made a farmer. <laughs> 